Hello and welcome to the 31st tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version of C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to play music files. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5, if you haven't done it there'll be a link in the, in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and start, start this tutorial. What you first want to do is go to your resources folder, create a file, I'm just going to call it audio then you want to actually copy and paste any audio file that you have into here. I've already got one, so it's called main main music. Paste it into here. So now that's that done. Next thing you want to do is actually open up your project. Before you begin any coding, you want to actually add the folder as a reference here. You can simply do that by dragging and dropping the audio folder into resources, then you're going to pop up like this. You want to copy items to destination group file if needed. Don't really matter, you can do if you want to, but they're already there, so I'm just going to leave it unchecked. Then you want to create folder references for any folder. And if you do the create folder references, you get this sort of blue folder instead of this sort of yellowy orangey one. It's actually more, yeah, it's probably more yellow than uh, orange. And this blue one is a reference, so if you add new music files or even new image files, it will automatically get updated, which is pretty cool. Next thing you want to do is actually include the simple audio engine header. To do that, you just do hash include, hash on a Mac is alt free. Quotation marks inside, you do simple audio engine dot h, dot j dot h. And now the next thing you want to do is actually preload your file. And you can do that by cocost extension simple audio engine get instance preload background music and all it requires is the actual file name and location so just put audio for slash main main music mp3 and now next we just want to simply play this audio file and now we can simply do that by we're in Coco extension, simple audio engine, get instance, and that preload you want to do play background music. And for that, you simply put audio for slash name main music, you probably want to store the name of your file into some sort of variable or some sort of hash defined so you can just keep referencing the same one and if you ever need to change it, you change it in the one place and it gets changed everywhere else. Dot mp3, put a semicolon, and now we're ready to run this application. Volume is at maximum. That was the audio plane. There's, there's another parameter they can add for play background music. If you put comma true, well you put false if you want, but if you put comma true, it basically loops the audio. Still play the same, but if you put comma true and then you play it, what will happen is once the background music got finished for that three minutes, four minutes, or however long it is, it will loop again because naturally background music in a game constantly plays. And you have background music that doesn't have like a, a sudden change in its starting and its ending. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to stop music. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description, or you can comment or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.